Bandits behind an armored car heist are wanted in Troy tonight for crime that played out in front of a school. They struck right outside Waddles Elementary in broad daylight with the kids in class. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Troy tonight. Kim, we understand one of the armored car guards suffered minor injuries? Uh, that's correct, Dave. There was from pepper spray, but he's okay after being treated here on the scene. This happened around 1045 this morning here in the parking lot of Waddles Elementary School, and investigators do not think this was a crime of opportunity, but rather it was planned. Oh, and I, I saw the truck pull up, and a few minutes later I got an email. Um, I was in total disbelief. Waddles Elementary went on lockdown as soon as they learned what happened right outside their front doors. An armored car robbed after someone pepper sprayed one of the guards. I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm not only worried for my kid, I'm worried for the, all the kids. So one of the um, operators of the armored truck was pepper sprayed in the face, sustained some minor injuries, was treated here. It was petrifying. It was hard to believe that it's actually happening, you know, to, that it's real and it's right here. It's around the corner and I could see the school from my window. Yeah. Uh, first, you know, initial reaction is run and get the kids basically, right? Troy police say the armored car was making a routine stop at the school to pick up some money. We're told the driver remained inside the vehicle while the other guard picked up the cash. But when he was walking out of the school and getting back in the truck, two men approached. One pepper sprayed the guard in the face. They then stole all of the money in the truck and took off, leaving neighbors stunned. I'm surprised because in daytime, so many cars is here and uh, children here, you know, my my children went there. We don't believe there was any danger to the school or the community right around here. These guys were going after the contents of the armored truck. That's what they got. The two robbers escaped with the cash. Parents just thankful that children are safe. The school system is pretty good about um, notifying us and telling us what's going on. So they had us hold back and wait. Everything supposedly was under control, but that means very little to a mom. You never know. I mean, you can't really control the, the entire city or people coming from outside the city. And I called the main office for a total armored car in Detroit. They are not commenting, but anyone with any information is urged to call Troy police or the FBI. Reporting live in Troy, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Hopefully they will get some answers. Thank you so much, Kim.